Oh, hello. <laughs> How's it going, everyone? Uh, welcome back to Nostalgic. My name is Naz, and today's a very special episode. It's very special to me, and I think it's very appropriate for the time that we're uh, living in and for the situations that are going on right now in the world, and more specifically in Ukraine. Um, I'm Ukrainian, so this is like kind of, not even kind of, it's 100% a big deal to me. Um, I will... <laughs> I'll do anything for my country and for anyone that disrespects it. So I would love to share with you guys today a very special episode of Nostalgic Toy Stories. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of a story, but let me show you the toy itself. This is a MiG-29. I hope you can see it. It's kind of in front of me. <laughs> I'm going to try to keep it on this little stand so I don't have to keep my fingers all up on it. Um, it's not die cast, I'm sorry, some of you uh, die cast purists, but this would be incredibly heavy if this was actually made of die cast. But uh, as you can see, this is a MiG-29. I'm sure some of you have heard of the recent events in, in Kyiv. There's a, a pilot called uh, Ghost of Kyiv. And uh, this man is uh, magical. Uh, there's a couple of pilots right now uh, operating in Kyiv, and uh, they are flying these exact planes, MiG-29. Um, I love this plane. Um, I will I will tell you how I got it. Uh, but first, let me show you what else I have here. I also have this. We'll get back to this beautiful. Oh, oh. There we go. This beautiful photo of MiG-29 flying in formation. I had it uh, signed, autographed by the pilot. Uh, I don't remember, his name is Taras, but I don't remember his last name. It just says uh, Taras something, uh, Tatorim, something like that. Uh, there's a number there, D623, possibly his uh, badge number or something like that. I don't know, I had this since, <laughs> since the early 90s. That goes for this plane. It goes for this uh, fantastic photo. I'll tell you about all that. There's a little bit of a story. I also have, <laughs> I also have this fantastic relic, MiG-29 with the Ukrainian Trizub, the trident right there. That that's uh, it stands for freedom. It's kind of like uh, I guess the best simplest way to to explain what it means is a. Uh, this is Ukraine's crest, and uh, it pretty much spells out freedom, which is volya, and uh, it means a lot of different things, but that's the Ukrainian trident. Uh, and there you go, there's the MiG-29 on this uh, <laughs> this trucker hat, I uh, guess. But yeah, it's it's been around, man. Guys, I literally had this since... Oh my god, what's it say on this hat? <sighs> it doesn't say anything. <laughs> but I've had this since, like... 1992, 93, something like that. Anyway, okay. So, this... Ah! Excuse me. That wasn't the point. <laughs> that was the, the heavier base that it was on. So, as you can see, there's the bottom of it. The landing gear comes down. So, I can display it, you know... Oop can display it standing up like this or in flight mode on that stand. So uh, this is actually made by New Ray. Uh, it says 1999 on this. So I got this particular toy a little bit later, like uh, obviously, <laughs> well, the stem's 99. Uh, I'm pretty sure this casting's been made um, over and over and over and repopped or whatever. Uh, I did get this later on in life, uh, but I did make one when I was younger. Um, I bought a model kit, and uh, well, this bandana's going places. <laughs> so when I was younger, I actually made one that looked just like this. Um, I had water slide stickers for it. It was a model kit. I put it all together and uh, painted it all up exactly the same as this one looks. <clears throat> but uh, this one's special because it was given to me by my late father's... Um, really close friend, someone that was helping us when we moved from Ukraine in 1991. <sighs> yeah, he was, um, he was a very good man, um, very kind, very uh, giving. 
Um, I, I believe my dad helped him out with uh, adopting a few children out of out of Ukraine. Um, you know, out of very poor conditions and stuff like that. So uh, they became really close friends. Um, sadly, um, his name was Mikola. And sadly, uh, at one point, he was like in his 50s or not even. like Yeah, 50-something, mid-50s. Uh, a priest came over to their house and uh, he got up very suddenly. Boom, heart attack. And uh, yeah, so rest in peace. Uh, he was like, you know, super close friend to my pa uh, my parents, our family. They helped us with everything back then. We were fresh out of Ukraine. You know, Ukraine became independent again in 1991. Uh, before that, we were occupied by USSR, like many other countries. Um, then that all broke apart in 1991. And uh, my dad took us out of there because you can imagine the kind of troubles a country will go through when it um, gains its independence back. You need new currency. Uh, Russia's right there, so there's uh, corruption left and right. Uh, the government has a whole bunch of like spies and corrupt people that are from Russia, you know, like puppet governments, stuff like that. But Ukraine prevailed. Um, it, it was a rough, like, at least uh, the first five years were crazy, man. I was still a kid, I was uh, probably 11 years old when uh, my dad got us all out of that country. But, uh, but yeah, <laughs> we actually went to Canada first. So just so you guys know, I didn't go to America right away. I lived in Canada for a good, oh my God, um, a good five years. <laughs> so Canada, believe it or not, if I, those, I have a whole bunch of Canadian viewers. So you guys know, Canada has a ton of Ukrainians, man. We have like, uh, most states have like Chinatown, like, you know, New York or uh, Philly. In in Canada, in Toronto, Ontario, there's Yuki Town. So it's like a whole, you know, street, but nothing but Ukrainian uh, art stores, bakeries, restaurants, shops selling Ukrainian stuff. It's it's fantastic. And uh, a lot of people are just migrants from Ukraine there. And the government and descendants from Ukrainians. Uh, Canada is, is, is a very uh, Ukraine-rich uh, country. So MiG-29, guys... Um, this thing I fell in love with when uh, the man that gave me this, uh, Mikola, uh, he gave this to me after we went to a um, an air show, like a flight show or whatever, air show. And there was a whole bunch of just fighter jets, Canadian Air Force uh, was over there uh, displaying all sorts of uh, helicopters, uh, air firepower, and just airplanes all over the place. Um, it, it was amazing, man. Um, <laughs> so I actually had this, I don't have it anymore. I had this whole binder filled with um, cards off of each plane. And uh, I mean, I was 11, so uh, 11 or 12. I don't remember at this point. I think it was like a year after we moved to Canada. Um, but anyway, it, it doesn't matter. I was between 11 and 13. <laughs> I was 15. <laughs> no. So anyway, I walked around and had like every pilot uh, autograph the, the card with their plane on it. And it was fantastic. So um, this thing, I bought that model kit there that I built later. And uh, at one point it dropped or I stepped on it or my dad crushed it. <laughs> I don't remember. But uh, one day, uh, Mikola gave this to me for my birthday. Uh, and... Um, I've had this ever since. So rest in peace, my man. Um, he was he was an amazing dude, amazing man, amazing uh, provider for his family, amazing provider to the children they were adopting, uh, just an all-around good person and uh, inspiration to me and to uh, uh, many people my age and his friends that were around back then. So, so um, uh, let's go back to the set. This hat I received at the air show. Uh, my dad bought this for me because there was a whole bunch of like Ukrainian stuff there because I believe the air show was like 1992 or 1993. So uh, that was the first time they did the repaint of these planes. Before this, they were, you know, Soviet planes. They were like uh, dark gray with red freaking stars on them or something. I don't know, some garbage. <laughs> Might as well have been swastikas, geez. But anyway, uh, I only talk this way because, you know, you guys know Ukraine's being invaded by Russia right now. It's 2022. And um, yeah, it's uh, the war's been, uh, the invasion uh, has been going on for, for a month, a freaking month now, guys. One month. They're leveling, destroying uh, cities, destroying uh, buildings, civilian buildings, um, 
killing civilians, uh, men, women, children. Um, anyway, those of you who are watching this fresh, not like a few years later, you know exactly what's going on. It's all over the news. Uh, Ukrainians are doing their best. So uh, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty confident Ukrainians are going to have victory and uh, destroy this uh, Russian fascist regime. So um, yeah, this hat has always been something that I've kept in my collection, whether it's been in my closet or not. Uh, right now, obviously, it's not in my closet. Uh, I'm not going to wear it. Um, I look kind of silly wearing these. Uh, <laughs> so yeah um anyway yeah i think this is still like set to my like childhood head size uh but anyway so this is the the photo that i had signed by the pilot that i met there and um i bought the photo there i guess or my dad bought it I, it doesn't matter we acquired this photo at the air show uh he signed that for me and i'm not i can't be too sure because i was still a kid but a bunch of years afterwards, um, I believe it was another air show and uh, something went wrong and this pilot crashed. So I don't know, like, I don't want to say that it was definitely him. But from what I remember, I think my dad said that, you know, remember that pilot you met? That was him. So I don't know. Um, I can't be too sure if it was him. It's just sad and, and unfortunate. Uh, just uh, tragic, but anyway, I think it actually like happened at an air show and uh, Yeah, it might be like that famous um, Crash that you can see on YouTube of a Ukrainian MiG-29 crashing um, but anyway I Can't be positive so <laughs> but anyway um, Yeah, just way too much tragedy tra tra tragedy lately going on uh, around so yeah <clears throat> That's it, guys. Um, just wanted to share this fantastic little toy story with you. This is why I have this little MiG-29 uh, replica. Um, it's it's beautiful. It's MiG-29s are still my absolute favorite planes. And like I mentioned before, right now in Cave, the Ghost of Cave has one of these. It's uh, painted in uh, digital camouflage and uh, still has uh, these tridents on there. They're just not blue and yellow. Like he, <laughs> he's not trying to like. Uh, you know, be caught. So uh, yeah, he's uh, he became uh, an ace in one day. He like took he took out a whole bunch of uh, enemy Russian uh, jet planes uh, out of the sky in in one day and became an ace. So uh, that's very amazing. So yeah, um, Ukraine is doing its thing. We're kicking butt. Uh, I thought that for my series of Toy Stories. I've already made, I think, maybe four or five Toy Stories, possibly, maybe less. I, I don't even remember. It's been a while since I made Toy Stories. But um, check those out. Um, it's basically just me showing you stuff that I've had for the longest time. And I tell you the stories of how I got it and what it means to me. And, uh, you know, it can be a short story. It can be a long story. It doesn't matter. But um, they're nostalgic Toy Stories. <laughs> so there you go. Just wanted to share share this. I, I love this plane. It's beautiful. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep, keep like going on and on in my videos, but uh, I tend to uh, have that tendency. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, thank you everybody for watching. Um, live long and prosper. Uh, don't forget to be kind to each other. Don't forget to, um, you know, uh, just be courteous and uh, not assumptive about anyone. And uh, always fight for justice, always uh, search for truth, and um, yeah, don't blindly follow uh, people just because uh, they're Putin. <laughs> so anyway, things won't end well for that guy, um, and uh, yeah, uh, you know, just pray for Ukraine, everybody. Uh, thank you all for your support. Um, I will be also, if you're watching this recently, there will be another auction uh, to support Ukraine. Uh, on my channel, this one here, uh, coming in probably two, two, three weeks tops, but probably about two weeks from now, from the posting of this video. So check out the date this video was posted. And uh, the previous auction that we did um, was amazing. The diecast community really turned out for Ukraine, not for me. Let me make that clear. And uh, we together raised close to $3,000. That's including the shipping that people paid to send their stuff out. 
I'm still actually shipping that stuff out. There's still a whole bunch of it left. Uh, I'm still dealing with a whole lot of issues and a whole lot of responsibilities that are on my plate. So uh, I'm slowly working at shipping everything out and setting up the next auction. So um, thank you everyone that participate, participated. Thank you to everyone who's participating in the next one. I already have, <laughs> I have one, two, three, four, five. I have six. <laughs> six packages already of stuff people sent me for the auction there's customs there's uh like rare cars there's mini gts there's a uh, red line club cars uh like rare ones not just like the um it's it's amazing um i i love everyone that's contributing to this i love everyone that cares everyone with a good head on their shoulders thanks everyone um yeah that's it uh thank you for watching toy stories <laughs> live long and prosper guys and never forget don't be assholes. I'll see you in the next video.